How's it going, man? Oh, yeah, always recording as best I can. Oh, sir. Some food? Awesome. Yeah, that's it. Cool. Thank you so much. You too. How are you? Yeah. 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 Thank you. Guys, what's up? I am with Scott. He's riding the CBR today. I am on my FZ07. We are actually making a long overdue video for possibly a new series of picking up people's Postmate orders and bringing it to their house. So, uh, Scott and I, neither of us have done this ever, so this is kind of a learning experience, so I apologize to anyone if we screw anything up. But our first order is um, Shane's Rib Shack, correct? Which is literally right there. Like we're literally about like 500 feet from it. So we're gonna go. We're gonna go pay for this order. See if we have room for it in our backpacks and everything. I mean, we shouldn't have. We shouldn't have any issues. But yeah, first order it is. Um, I think there's a spot right here. Look at that. You can take that spot, Scott, because this dude freaking parked like a. Yeah, just do that. Oh, I kicked the bag. All right, first order it is. Let me pull this up first and everything. So that's Chelsea, right? All right, <laughs> let's go see how this goes. Shane's. Rib Shack, order number one. How are you? We're actually Postmates for Chelsea, order number 233, I believe it is. For Chelsea. Chelsea. That one, that one. Yeah. See, that'll fit perfect in the bag on the back of the FZ. How's it going, man? Yeah, always recording as best I can, yeah. I've been hit a couple times, so. Yeah. By other motorcycles too, not even by vehicles. Pretty crazy. This episode is brought to you by Germex. I think that bag is probably going to be clutch for this order. Because we could put it in our backpacks, but I feel like it's going to end up getting... And then I'll be embarrassed our first order. Be like, here you go, it leaked all over my bag. We will make it work though. Perfect. Thank you guys. All right guys, so Scott and I just got our first uh, Postmates order. I have to confirm pickup here in a second. Yeah, it should fit perfect in this bag, bro. We'll expand this a little bit. It'll fit width-wise, I'm pretty sure. It's just gonna, we'll have to see how, uh, it's actually like a perfect fit, bro. Yeah, look at that. Official. So now we confirm pickup. Picked up one order. They gave us a time limit to get to our house. Bet. <laughs> We're on a motorcycle. Eight minutes, big bet, Chelsea. See you in two. All right guys, so Scott and I are leaving Shane's Rib Shack. Uh, right now, I'm gonna let this guy go. Uh, we got Chelsea's order in the back, and this order is actually only, what do we say, Scott, like maybe eight minutes, six minutes away. It's really close. I'm gonna have a lot of confidence in that bag um, if this works out, because that was a pretty big order. I'm gonna try my best not to lean this thing. <laughs> we get there, like, yeah, we were actually dragging knee, and some of your coleslaw <laughs> was dragging asphalt as well. <laughs> I apologize. They have like an option, half send, full send, no send. <laughs> full send's freaking scraping it on the road. <laughs> yeah, if you guys want a milkshake, order it through us because that thing will be a milkshake, shake, shake by the time it gets to you. I'm curious what uh, this family's gonna look like. We should take guesses. My mom and little Billy, she's gonna send little Billy out to get the food. I should tell her, be like, subscribe to my channel. You can see what we did to your food on the way to your house. <laughs> This is going smooth so far. The bag worked out perfect. See, dude, that would have, it's definitely doable in a backpack, but I would have, I'm not gonna lie, I would have been really nervous stuffing it in a bag. I think this is the time to grind away on Postmates because everybody's, I know people are always ordering Postmates, but right now, what else do they have to do? They don't want to leave their house, and a lot of them are either working from home or furloughed, so all they want to do is just buy food and just binge and eat away the pain. I don't mean that in a mean way, but you know, unfortunately. <laughs> Look at the dog, aww. <laughs> No leash, that's a good dog, dude. A big old Rottweiler like that, just wandering around. Here we are, wow, this is just like straight into a dead end. Oh no, we're around, okay, it swings around the corner. I should send everyone a personal message after we pick it up and be like, I'm gonna rev the crap out of my bike by the, when, to let you know your food's ready. See how easy we can get this out of the bag. Hello, sir. Can I order some food? We yeah. got it. Like right over here by my For sure, bro, definitely. You guys moving or what? No, we, no. Not for another year. Yeah. What kind of dog is that? He's pretty. It's a Shepherd. Aww. Hey, buddy. Well, guys, good luck with everything you're doing. Have a good day. Thanks, man. This bag makes it feel very, very legit. First order officially complete. All right, Scott, take a guess. Where do you think next one's going to be? Um, that would actually be pretty solid. All right, let's find out. We just completed our first order. So you earned a $4... Four point, so I earned 4.4 .4 before tips. See, I just have to be very friendly to everybody. Oh, 
McDonald's? Heck yeah. Delivery added. All right, well, Scott, I think we can both agree that first order was very, very smooth, bro. Aside from them definitely looking a little nervous, but to be fair, they did have a, it looked like a pretty close to newborn baby, yeah, so that dog was so pretty, dude. His eyes were like frosty blue, yeah. All right, guys, so Scott and I are headed to the McDonald's on, we don't know exactly where it is, we're just following GPS, <laughs> um, but we'll be back in just a minute. All right, guys, we are pulling up to McDonald's. Well, actually, Scott and I are already here. We're gonna go in and grab this order, find out how close they are. Dude, I have a feeling they are literally like three minutes or something like that. Merchant pickup notes. I'm assuming they put this in for the health and safety of you and others Please use the drive through window to complete the order pickup if lobby is open. You may go in to pick up order Okay, dang it. That sucks. We could have at least beat all these guys <sighs> He's got a flip. He's got a flip phone Nokia that was a little loud. Um, so guys what's going on right now? Uh, Scott tried to walk in the lobby probably as you saw it's locked because of all this coronavirus stuff going on So now we actually have to sit in the drive through just to pick up an order which honestly bro That is gonna suck because it's not that hot, but it's gonna be a while. It's gonna be a minute for Joshua Sorry, Josh. I'll just explain it to him when we get there. You know what? I think I'm just gonna call him right now. Should I or should we wait a minute and see how fast this moves? It'll move. All right, I'll take the wide side over here. Skirt. Go, homeboy. Dude, oh my gosh. Oh, dear Lord. You've been sitting in the drive through this long and you're not prepared. I hate when people do that, bro. The reason I hate it is because of Chick-fil-A when I worked there. That's... What? So you got yourself stuck in the drive through and... Okay, whatever. So I guess we'll play pass off with the order, bro. How are you? Yeah. Yeah. Thank you. Thank you. you want me to walk it over? <laughs> All right, push the bike, sir. Let's just go up, up around the corner. We got Joshua's order. Uh, now we just got to check out where he's at. Scott just freaking drug knee. <laughs> so this would obviously fit better in a backpack. I think I'm going to fold it. Let's just see. Yeah, yeah. I didn't even crease it either. We're good. All right, guys, Scott and I are about... Yeah, what's up? <laughs> Scott and I are just a few minutes out from our second stop here for Joshua. Uh, he said to leave the order at his door, so that's what we're going to do. Leave the order at the door. Postmates order number two officially. I know. That's what I was thinking. I was like, Postmates right now? Like, there shouldn't be any traffic? A lot of orders? Dang, this light's taking forever. Sorry, Josh. We're doing our best. But you know what? You're having us drop it off at your front door, so he probably he's probably just literally sitting at home doing nothing. And it's a kid's meal, so he's just probably like, hey, yo, Tyler, shut up. It's probably his little kid hungry. All right, you can come with for, uh, for safety reasons. Now do I ring the doorbell or literally just drop it and then confirm it on the app? I would just, I would just ring, ring the doorbell and then drop that at the door. Oh, they're already waiting for it. What's up, man? There you go, bro. Sorry it took long. They have lines in the drive-thru. All the lobbies are shut down, man. That's cool, man. Cool, have a good day. Hi right, guys, Scott and I just got our third delivery that popped up on Postmates. We are making a left on Happy Valley. We don't know what it is yet, so we actually are making guesses as to what it is. Scott says Buffalo Wild Wings. I'm guessing Jersey Mike's. We're going to find out in just a minute. What else is over there, bro? There's Chipotle. There's uh, M Mellow Mushroom. Dude, there's so much over there. There's so much over there. I'm wrong. It's no Jersey Mike's. Jersey Mike's is on the other side. Dude, it might be Buffalo, bro. We'll find out. We're turning. Yeah, it could be because we're turning in here. Could be Subway. <laughs> I'm gonna be very impressed if it's Buffalo. <laughs> uh, it could be Pita Jungle or whatever that is over here too. Oh, I'm excited to find out if you guessed this spot on. Dude, it's Buffalo Wild Wings, bro. I think it's Buffalo Wild Wings. <laughs> Scott guessed it right. Out of all the freaking places here, dude, there's like, how many different places? And there's so many. Yeah. yeah you know, I bet you more, dude. Between here and across the street, you had like a slight chance of guessing Buffalo Wild Wings. You freaking nailed it. It looks like it, it's showing the address right here. I'll look at the phone once we park, but it's telling us to park right here, so I think you nailed it, bro. Oh, that's that's awesome. That is some good guessing. You deserve a prize for that, dude. Uh, you have to turn the brights off as well. So kill switch and the, yeah, it's weird. Because the wiring is like messed up. Isn't that weird? Yeah. Okay, pick up details. No, Zupas. Yeah. Okay, we were very close. So Scott almost got it right. High five, bro. That was the closest. You're way closer than me. I, my place, I guessed, over there. So it's for Amanda. Go directly to the counter. Say you are the Postmates. State the name of the guest order. Ask, yeah, same thing as always. Okay. So Amanda, order 337. 
So it looks like it's this is gonna be perfect for the bag again. It is. How are you? So we're Postmates for an order. Do we go inside or do we go right here? Oh no, I can bring it out. Okay, cool. It's for Amanda. I think it was order 337. Okay. Yeah. Thank you. Yeah, of course. So is that supposed to be a strawberry? <laughs> when she comes out, like, did, did you draw that? <laughs> Awesome. Yeah, that's it. Cool. Thank you so much. You too. All right, bro. This will this should fit perfectly. It's not even that it's a lot of food. It's just that Zupa's boxes are huge. Order has been picked up. 14 minutes. Bet. Bet. 10. <laughs> Tops. We're rushing for that tip. Stooge girl has like a tiara on or something. See, this is where it's clutch to have a motorcycle because this is definitely a... First of all, you can turn 14 minutes into way less than that. Second of all, you can get there or you can uh, spin way less on gas like we keep saying. Our guy Scott and I just picked up Amanda's food. We put it in our special Postmates bag. We're about to hop on the I-17 here and kind of we're gonna head south and then head east for a minute. Shout out to Viking Bags for the Postmates bag. I'm glad it actually worked out, dude, the bag. Because if not, it really would have uh, been tricky with the backpacks. Like, I, I truly like these orders. I'm glad I, we got this bag figured out because we would have had to get very, very creative. Like you said, we would have had to put them in vertically and literally lay it on our tank or something. Yeah, which would have been very sketch when we're delivering food. Because, like, the donuts, is like, if you drop them, you drop them. You know what I mean? But, like, other people's food, it's like, uh, by the way, I dropped your food off my motorcycle. We're making good time here. Dude, this means I have to get a giant, like, Postmate or, like, a Postmate sticker for my motorcycle or helmet somewhere. Make it look even more official. <laughs> or just get a Postmate shirt and just wear it around. <laughs> oh, wait, we can't turn. Whoops. <laughs> I was like, I can't see. That's probably why, because it's so blind. Whoa, bruh, you're too cool for me. Oh, she's just dropping everything over there. If you want your Postmates order fast, you can express order it through us, bro. <laughs> Literally, bro. Gonna park right here. Easy peasy, sir. Just such a perfect fit for this food, dude. I love it. I keep my gloves on for you guys. Cool. I just set it there, took a picture and rang the doorbell so yeah see so that order was almost six dollars so it all depends on what's going on where you're going cool bro knuckles for the third order that was the smoothest one so far i'd say because we didn't have to deal with anyone whoops sorry sir <laughs> no our bike set off the alarm <laughs> 